compounding what is compounding compounding is to find future value of present cash flow that is what is compounding what is compounding compounding is to find future value of present cash flow and i'm sure friends you can very easily understand when i have to take a decision as a fund manager as a wealth manager as investment manager working for a mutual fund working for a portfolio management company working for a provident fund company working for a pension company uh, i have to take a lot of decisions and if i have to take a lot of decisions then i need to find out that if i invest my funds in a in one particular uh, one particular security fixed income security i would always be interested to know as to what is going to be the future value of that this investment that i would make it today so how do i find out the future value of the present cash flow and that is what is compounding as i said compounding has got four component the component number 1 is to find out the future value of single cash flow and how do i find out the future value of single cash flow this is how i would find out the future value of single cash single cash flow so what i will do i'll take a a is equal to the amount of investment that i am making uh, bracket starts 1 plus k k is the rate of interest which i am going to earn on this investment that i am making raised to n n is the number of years for which i am making this investment so if i put my numbers into this formula i would be able to find out the few value of future future value of my present cash flow so uh, let me give you a small uh, uh, case here and uh, the case is let's find out the value of rupees 1000 which we are investing now at the end of 3 years given that the rate of interest earned is 4% so quickly it should not take you more than 1 uh, minute to find out as to what is the future value of this cash flow all of you and i would like all of you to give me the answer because that is very very important and this these kind of questions please remember you will come across in your exam so jab aap exam likhenge valuation ka to aap dekhenge is tarah ke sawal us exam mein aapse puche jayenge and uh, so this is also going to be not only uh, an opportunity for you to understand and strengthen your concept concepts but also at the same time do some practice as well so anyone who is ready with the answer please tell me how much will be the future value of an investment of rupees 1000 today after 3 years when the rate of interest applicable on this investment is 4% abhinav and you have a time of 30 seconds it so should one, not 1124 1124 four, very good 1124 yes okay one more person one more person up to 1125 sorry <laughs> yes sir one one two five okay very good so okay that's fine and it is one one two four and if you have if you are saying one one two five then also you are right because what you are doing is you are you are rounding it off and of course your answer is absolutely right so remember this is how you will find out the future value of present cash flow okay now the next stage is how to find out or how to find out next next stage is how to find out uh present future value of present cash flow when there are multiple cash flows so which means i am investing today uh, i am investing today i am investing after one year i am investing after two year three year four year so i am making investment over a longer time horizon so how do i find out uh, present val future value of these uh, cash flows now before we understand that let us come to one more point and that point is in the example that we discussed just now where you gave the answer as 1124 we assumed that the interest is payable at the end of every year but it can happen that the interest is interest is uh, richa please unmute yourself richa please mute yourself yeah okay so it can happen that the there is a compounding on monthly quarterly or half yearly basis so in that case if 
if the if the compounding is happening on monthly quarterly or half yearly basis how do we find out the present value so in that case remember what we do we take the amount of investment let's say 1000 rupees 1 plus k k is the rate of interest m is the frequency of compounding so in case if we are paying if if you are going to earn interest every quarter now in that case what we will need to do we will need to divide the applicable rate of interest by m m is the frequency that is the the frequency of compounding in this case if it is quarterly so it's going to be 4 raised to n into m n is the number of years m is the frequency every year of compounding so by putting this formula in practice we would be able to find out future value or present investment in those cases where we are going to earn interest not annually but monthly quarterly or half yearly now this is another thing friends that you must remember and i'm sure it is going to come in very handy to you uh, as far as the valuation is concerned as far as passing the exam is also concerned now how do we find out the future value of multiple cash flows and of course no rocket science answer of course is very simple so if we have to find out the future value of multiple cash flows what we need to do we need to do the same thing as we did to find out the future value of present cash flow when there was a single cash flow so when there are multiple cash flow what we need to do we need to keep on finding out future value of each of the cash flows which is happening so let's say for example a1 is for is for the cash flow in year one a2 is for the cash flow in year two a3 is for the cash flow in year three and what do we do so cash flow into one plus k k is the rate of interest raised to n n is the number of years for which this this interest this investment is going to be uh, uh, invested this amount is going to be invested so that is n uh, that is in the first year second year n minus one third year n minus two and you keep on doing like this so this will give us the uh, future value of multiple cash flows so let us quickly do a small uh, case study once again and uh, the case is uh, in front of you and this case is uh, Ram invests rupees 1500 at the beginning of the first year or at the end of the zero year okay if he invests invests rupees 2000 at the beginning of the second year and rupees 5000 at the beginning of the third year on which he is going to earn interest at the rate of 5% per annum you have to find out accumulated value of all these cash flows at the end of third year should not take you more than two minutes to find answer to this question so what you have to do is very simple find out the future value of 1500 rupees then find out the future value of 2000 rupees then find out the future value of 5000 rupees that you are investing in the third year total it up and that becomes your future value of multiple cash flows I have already taken 30 seconds so you have additional one and a half minute to give your answer.